Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Anthony Sampson. I'm a solution architect with Walters Glor. Today, we're going to be covering the TaxWise Recovery Rebate Credit Worksheet in our 2020 version of TaxWise. So whether you're using our desktop or our online version of TaxWise, you're going to see 1040 Worksheet number 8. And that's where the Recovery Rebate Credit Worksheet is located at. And this is going to take you through a series of questions that you do need to answer. So for a perfect example, can you be claimed as a dependent on another person's return? The answer is no. If that answer is no, in this case scenario, does your 2020 tax return include a valid social security number for you and if you're filing a joint return? So it does require a valid social security number in order to be able to receive this recovery rebate credit. Now, was at least one of your one of you a member of the U.S. Armed Forces at any time during 2020? The answer is yes, because there's no limitations for those members that are armed forces. We appreciate your service and sacrifice to our country. They would definitely be able to and not necessarily have a limitation on this, all right? Of course, you'd answer this question. Does one of you have a valid social security number? We go ahead and, um, of course, the answer is yes, because it's going to link you back over to the other page. So as I go through this, the recovery rebate credit, right now in my scenario I have, I've got a client. It's a head of household. So they're entitled to twelve hundred dollars. It's the first uh, stimulus or economic recovery rebate that that went out earlier in twenty twenty. That twelve hundred dollars they're entitled to, and then they have have one dependent in here, so they're eligible for five hundred dollars. So all together, software selling tax wise is telling us that they should have gotten a seventeen hundred dollars stimulus check or recovery rebate credit check in the mail or direct deposit in their account earlier in twenty twenty. Now for the second go around, it's actually been raised to an extra hundred dollars per child, so it's six hundred dollars per child. But now it's $600 per adult as well. So those are the changes. So all together, tax wise, saying, well, this taxpayer should get $1,200 for the second recovery rebate. So I'm going to walk you through here towards the bottom of the worksheet. It's going to say directly over here, enter the amount, hit any of the first economic impact payment that's been issued. So we could directly enter right over here. Okay, they received, you know, if they received the $1,700, we could enter that over here. All right. Now, if they did not receive their economic recovery rebate, they would check this box. No, but I want to walk you through a way how you directly find that information. So there's a website that the IRS has set up. You go directly to the irs.gov website and scroll further down under the account section and you're going to come to the economic impact payment section. You're going to click on get my payment and I want to show you what it actually looks like when you click on that. So I'm going to click directly on that get my payment and it's going to launch the site over here and then you could put in the social security number, date of birth, street address, zip code. Once you enter that information in, I'll show you what over here and it's going to say, okay, the first economic payment was received on XYZ date, right? So May 6th, you can see that first economic payment and then it would list the bank account number right over here. Of course, I got that covered up here, but then right over here, the second payment, you see how it's saying not available? So if you find this yourself in this situation where it's saying second payment not available, taxpayer has not received the second payment, I want to walk you back through in TaxWise what that actually looks like. Coming back to TaxWise, so let's say if I hypothetically put in this $1,700 that they received it, you would check this box saying that they did not receive it. And now what's happening is this is going to be a credit on the tax return right over here, that $1,200. So I'm going to come over to page number two of the 1040. And on page two of the 1040, right over here, here's that credit, recovery rebate credit of $1,200. It's gonna appear directly over here, so you'll be able to see that. All right, and it's definitely you seeing how it's increasing the return. So that's how it works with the recovery rebate credit, definitely inside of our TaxWise solution. Now, also, I wanna walk you through EIC look back and what that process actually entails. So let's come back to our scenario over here. So I'm looking at this client has a W-2 right over here, right? So the client has a W-2 of $7,000. Uh, unfortunately, they had a loss of work due to the pandemic and they had to file for unemployment. So they've got $15,000 in unemployment income and a $7,000 W-2. Now that's going to impact our schedule EIC, our EIC payment, right? So after you take care of your due diligence answers over here, I'm going to scoot down over here to the, towards the bottom. And as I'm going down towards the bottom, you're going to see the coronavirus relief section over here, the worksheet. And it's saying, okay, was the taxpayer's 2019 earned income more than the 2020 earned income due to job loss or underemployment? If so, we can definitely check the box yes. So in this case scenario, this client, I mind you, unemployment income is not eligible for the earned income credit that has to be earned, right? Wages that they're working for. So $7,000 is this client's earned income, but they've got an AGI of $22,000 due to the $15,000 unemployment. So 
you got to do that look back. So you got to definitely look at that client's previous year return. We can see in this case scenario that their earned income credit is going to be two thousand three hundred eighty nine dollars. That's what that's what tax is calculating based off the, the tables. But once we come over here and I put in that twenty five thousand dollars, we can see, OK, their earned income credit was two thousand six hundred seventy four dollars. So, you know, the IRS is allowing you to take the higher amount and that higher amount is two thousand six hundred seventy four dollars. So that's going to carry over and that's going to flow over on the tax return. This is what the earned income credit is. Now let's talk about the 8812, the child tax credit. We've got the same kind of explanation, but think about it. Once you address your earned income credit on the Schedule EIC worksheet, it's going to flow directly over here. You can check the box. Was the taxpayer 2019 earned income more than the 2020 earned income due to job loss or underemployment? Once we check yes, that number carries over and tax wise will run the calculations automatically for you. So it's not as descriptive as the EIC with the table and everything, but it's going to go ahead and run those numbers directly for you to calculate what that uh, additional child tax credit is going to be.